So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a one-on-one Money in the Bank qualifying match. But before we talk about that, we got to talk about a segment backstage where we see Cameron Grimes talking to Adam Pearce backstage. And he was talking about that uh, even though Baron Corbin's in NXT right now, he knows that Carmelo Hayes will take care of Baron Corbin. But he says if he ever sees Baron Corbin again, he's going to make sure he gets some. So yeah, that's what Cameron Grimes said. But then we get to the match, Lacey Evans versus Zelina Vega in the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. And yeah, all of a sudden we see Zelina Vega like, you know, laying down at the corner and stuff, holding her jaw. We're like, okay, what the hell happened to her, you know? But then they show the replay of what happened during the commercial break where they was where everybody was taking out the... Uh, the set for Grayson Waller's show, and then while everybody was doing that, uh, Lacey Evans comes up hitting the woman's right on to Zelina Vega. So, yeah, uh, Lacey Evans already had like an advantage before this match started. But, yeah, we get to the match, and yeah, Lacey Evans is taking control of this match against Zelina Vega, and she was trying to lock on that Kimmel Clutch onto Zelina Vega, and Zelina Vega starts fighting out of it. She goes to the corner, kicks off, uh, rolling. Her Lacey Evans through with an arm drag pretty much and then hits one of her finish moves, a code red, onto onto Lacey Evans, pinning her for the one, two, three. So yeah, Zelina Vega defeated Lacey Evans tonight and she qualifies in the women's money in the bank ladder match. That's what happened. It was an okay match. For that match, I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was alright. But yeah, that's what happened there. But up next, we're going to be seeing LA Knight versus Montez Ford in a Money in the Bank qualifying match up next on SmackDown. And still to come later on tonight, we'll see Roman Reigns celebrating his 1,000 days as champion later on tonight as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then.